Hello everybody, it's me Tracy with another DIY. This time I want to try the candy bar wallets with the chains on it. I've been seeing them for years. They've been out for a lot of years now. At least three years as far as I see back. So I don't know who I give credit to, but I watched quite a few videos and whoever came out with it was very nice. But I really can't get the, the measurements together that they was all talking about. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it my way. So the sheets here that I cut out, and I I got this out of my phone because I just did a unicorn party for my grandchild. So I'm gonna use a unicorn picture, and I'm gonna use the same laminated sheets that I did when I um did the uh, the bags. When I did the bags in my last video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I did the bags with the laminated with the paper. I'm going to do the same concept with the candy bar wrapper to give it that shiny look. So we'll put that here. So I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible because if I can't get it, y'all ain't going to be able to get it. So let's just open up this laminated here like I said this picture is seven by seven you can do any picture you want I'm gonna to try to get cover the whole thing up rub on it and then flip it over so I'm gonna use the ruler to do my slicing of the leftover uh, I want that one. Now where's my other knife? There we go. Zapto knife. So we're gonna trim off the extra like we did the bags. I take that piece off. Some people probably be like, oh no, that's corny. Like sometimes I think some things is corny, but and my crafting group, crafting together is one the group that me and Denise run. We have a lot of new crafters in there, new beginner crafters. COVID has brought out the crafters and everybody. Everybody. If I make it simple can become a crafter. Anybody can take what I do and become a, a, a crafter. So right now I'm just trimming up the edges and I have a metal ruler which works very well, you know, guiding my Zecto knife down the edges of it. I also, also have that thumb thing too. I'm a little afraid of that one, but I use it sometimes. And like I said, you can use any picture you want. Um, any picture you want, anything you want for any party. All right, so the picture is off now. The laminated sheet is on. Now, we got some tape here. I'm gonna use some tape. And I'm gonna put the candy bar inside. Now, fold the sides down so they won't hang out. So I'm just trying to decide where I wanna put it in the middle. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape on it just to support it when the time comes for me to um, start rolling it and wrapping it up. I'll have a, some support and it won't move around. So it's all taped in, see? I taped it in. Now I'm gonna roll it up. And as I roll it, I'm gonna create the creases that I want. Because you wanna know where those creases at for that candy bar. Because of the, you're using the, um, laminated sheets now you have to create the creases and then i'm going to bring this over here and i'm going to create the creases on this side too just by pinching it up with my finger create the pieces all right 
So now I know where my crease is at. I'm going to just use the hot glue gun and I'm going to put some along the side here, not over top of the grease, not touching the candy bar. And I'm going to pinch it down. Pinch it and hold it down until and you only need a teeny bit, so it should really shouldn't be burning your hands. You don't need a teeny bit. Just wipe the excess off with your finger. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Yeah. So one side, I'm I'm trying the hot glue gun. It's a little little messy, but we're gonna try it again. And then the next one I make, I'm gonna use two face tape. So I'm just going to put a little bit here in this corner, up to that line, and we're going to pinch it. Because this is basically just going to be for a kid's party. I mean, if you want to do for a delt party, then then go ahead and do the, um, the other ones where you crease the sides up and you actually turn it into a purse type of thing. But with the laminated sheets, it's easy to get the glue off if you got some extras. All right, so that first part is done. I'm going to take an exacto knife and I'm going to cut this candy bar out. And I'm going to give them a hard time. It's not going to be easy for them to rip this open. So I cut it out. So now it makes it easy for this candy bar to come in, candy bar to come out. So I'm going to put it back in here. And then we're going to fold it over. But before we do that, before we do that, we got to cut. This is this is 11 inches long so I cut 11 because I think a purse strap shouldn't be no more than 11 so that's 11 and these beads where they at I got from Dollar Tree if you don't want to use those beads from Dollar Tree you can always get some of these and cut a long strip of the silver off but I'm going to use the beads for right now and not this whole roll I only want one roll of it so I'm going to cut it 11 inches, just one roll. Take my time, you don't want to mess it up. This is a little big. But I see a lot of y'all been been finding my channel. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for all the love. For my YouTube channel. The Facebook group is Crafting Together. That's one. Sign up for that too, y'all. Hit me up. Y'all want some of them divas? Everybody love them divas. So I'm just going to take a one little dot right here and put it in the corner. And that dot, I'm going to put the bees on it. And let it sit for a few seconds. Because it'll stick to this car stuff. So. Let's be patient with it. And then I'm going to bring this one around. And then I'm going to do a little small dot on this side as well. Now, this way, to me, it's easier. You know, there's a lot of ways. Everybody doing it their own way. All right, so that should be dry. So, there you go, looking so far. My granddaughter's daughter told me she said when she turned 14 you know, just next year she wants a party she liked these little pocket books she think they would be cute to have at her party but she's not sure what the theme is so i got some gym i'm using the gym i'm using the big one out of the pack and they come from michael's it's coming like a whole plastic container from michael's so i'm just putting a small little dab on it back here and then i'm gonna fold this over like this almost like a stamp i'm gonna find the middle Stick it on there and I'm going to hold it for a few seconds. Just hold that for a few seconds. And even though this part is, is pinched on the sides, this part still has a straight edge. Alright, so that's done. Here you go. Now, isn't this cute? And I'm sure all the children would love this. It has that shiny look to it. Now, the thing is, they would have to rip this diamond off. Now, there is some 
Velcro. I got magnets. I got the little round Velcro. But as y'all know, when you're a crafter, you once you put something somewhere, you can't find it. So I can't find it. So right now I'm just gonna do this because basically once they take the candy out of it, it's basically trash. It's just for party purposes for people to take home because it's cute. So there you go. My version of the candy bar thing. You just have to open it and you have to take it out. I mean, I'm going to look for the Velcro. They got round Velcro, so one part stick there and one part stick under here. It will make it nice so they can open it. If not, they have to just, they have to rip it open. See, they got it open. And now, hey, look, just put it back under there. It ain't gonna stick no more, but I'm gonna figure out another way. But for the most part, if you can find those Velcro circles, then they will be able to open it and take the candy bar out, and then they'll be able to use this little wallet thing again. You can almost use it for a wallet. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find another one. I'm gonna find my circles because it'll be cute if they can use it again. You know, just to play with it around the house. Because this one is hot glue and they can't use it no more once they take it apart. So I'm gonna look for it. And if I can't find it, I'm gonna buy some more. And then once I buy it and come to the house, then I have extra. So here goes your, the simple candy thing. You see how it's, it's crimped here on the edge? I just smashed it in like that, smashed it in. And then I just fold it over and put a diamond on it. And then I add some plastic plastic um, beads from the Dollar Tree. So, I hope you like this video. Change the things if you like. Add some magnet to it. I might do one with a magnet too. And the magnet will be able to open and close. So, I'm going to sit here and make another one. And I'm going to add the magnet. I'm not sure how long that's going to take to dry. Maybe I can use the uh, hot glue with the magnet. But for, for the first part, for the most part, it's done. And I think it's cute. And I think the kids will like it at the parties. And it has plastic on it, so it makes it like a real wallet. A real wallet. They can even put something in there when they finish. But just come up with a different way so that this will be able to open and close. So I'm going to try it with the magnet. So thanks for watching my video, y'all. Bye. Check out the rest of them. So... I just did another one. I'm using the magnet. With the magnet. Um, I need some big gems. Maybe I can still get me to put the, this on here. Why does that look corny? Nope, it don't look corny. So I'm going to put this on here. So I got the um, magnet. I stuck one with some hot glue on here. I'm gonna stick one on here. Um, if you're gonna want it to stay for a long time, you might wanna add a little E6000 and hot glue. And this one, I'm not gonna stick it underneath. I'm gonna put it right on top of that one. It's gonna find it and clamp itself on top of that, like that. And then I'm gonna have a gem. And they got some bigger, bigger ones. It used to, I think I used all the big ones that was in here. Oh, he got a big giant one. All right, so he got a big stud, and I'm gonna put high glue on that as well. And then I'm gonna stick it on top of this magnet. So there you go. Um, the grandchild took the other one and ran out of here and ate it. She ate it, she ate the candy and threw the wrapper away. So, like I said, this is for kids. She's 13, you see what she did. She took the candy, she threw it away. So, this one was with the diamond stuck on the outside, the one I showed you. If you want the kids to keep it and play with it, then you might want to do it this way, where um, I put the diamond on the outside and I put the magnet on the outside. So now they can open it and take the candy bar out and still have the little purse to play with. Because they're little kids and little kids always want 
something to leave it in. See, it is snapped right there. So there you go. Two ways to do it. If you won't want them to keep it and play with it for later, then do it that way. But this way is nice. These magnets, they come in a whole big thing like this, like $10. You get like 50 sets. So you get 50 sets. Probably like $10. So here you go. I'm going to open it up. And when they get another candy bar, because they're going to want to get more, or they might want to put something else in there. They put it back in there. And we close it up. And then we have the beads. This would have been real cute. Well, my grandma was only one, so. I'm gonna incorporate this in my next party that I do for a little child. They're gonna now have the candy bars. And you see the lamination, makes it look nice. So thanks for watching my video. My simple, 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 easy, easy, easy peasy DIY. <laughs> DIY. I mean, look, I'm making it simple. You don't need a whole lot of nothing. All you need is some hot glue and some pearls, and some magnets. Pinch it up, put the glue in there, pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. Candy bar now can come in and out, shut it. Now they can use it for a purse for something else. Put some pencils in it. So this can now become, when they finish with it at the party, can now become a unicorn pencil case. Hey, how about that? <laughs> Go to school with your pencil case. Thanks for watching my videos.